Today we are going to debunk all the myths that you know about singing, singing the mask, what is belting, the smiling technique, think high, sing low, sing low, think high, all the weird stuff that your vocal coaches are telling you. Today I'm gonna answer them straight away. Don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, hashtag weaponize your voice, and let's just dive straight into it. And ask 10 different vocal coaches and they might give you 10 different explanations and here's my explanation. Now singing the mask is a term that comes actually from the 80s, 90s and it's a kind of musical theater expression or term mostly used there in musical theater. It's about where the sound resonates. Now there are some sounds uh, or vowels that have a that resonates here in the front basically. If you think about twang, then twang is a very loud sound production and it resonates here up front. Sometimes people when they sing in half voice, just to understand where is their head voice, they feel that it resonates somewhere here or in the back or somewhere here. Sometimes when they use their chest voice, they feel that the resonance is somewhere around here. That's where the term actually comes from uh, several hundred of years ago. I feel that sound rather more forward, so this is the term, sing in the mask. Number two is like the smiling technique. Where is that smiling technique coming from? And you know what, I'm using that term too. So I always tell to my younger students, smile a little bit more. There's not so much that we can do from the outside to manipulate the inside production. You know, it's a myth a little bit and it's the hope of that we can change a little bit by using some mu uh, muscles around the face. And it doesn't work that way so much. Now, we can do, now, when, when I say to my students, smile a little bit more, it's because I want them to shape the vowel in a certain way. I want them to sing a little bit more bright, you know, it doesn't go broken down and tired, broken down and tired. So I want to lift up that certain note or that certain vowel by them to smile a little bit more, to make sure that the placement is a little bit better, to bring that sound forward um, and not get that operatic kind of like crying some broken tone and tired. Um, so basically what I want to do is to manipulate that ambusher. Um, yeah, so that's what we refer to, smile a little bit more and lift up that certain note by giving it a smile and be a little bit more brighter. Overall, the power needs to come from the voice within and it needs to come from here and not from there. Now, one subscriber wrote down, try to sing like an arrow, try to shoot like an arrow when you sing. And this is really interesting because what we want to do is we want to make sure that we are narrowing the airflow that we don't have our, our air all over the place, that we narrow that certain air stream when we sing, and we wanna point for the, to be pitch perfect, because the thing is like this, this is your pitch, right? And imagine this is the note that you have, and you can sing slightly under the note, and you can sing slightly above the note, and within the note, right, This if this is your note, um, within the note, you can just go a little bit more higher and be lightly sharp. You're still on the note, but you can be lightly sharp or you can be lightly bluesy, right? So therefore, we want you to really try to hit the middle of the note, like an error, and imagine error, <laughs> sorry my German English, right? But we want you to imagine to just point directly in that note, that is what we want. Now one subscriber writes, push through your tummy or push your tummy use the the tension of your tummy now there is a misconception that if we use a lot of effort with our diaphragm now in our core muscle that this will help us that this will create a better support i mean to a certain extent i understand where this comes from and yes i'm guilty of it pushing a lot of my tummy pushing a lot of my diaphragm but the truth of the matter is we want to have a moderate amount of tension going on in our body we need energy we need to be active we need to use our diaphragmatic um, work but it it doesn't have to be over the top if you use too much effort and you really strain your if you really push your tummy muscles um, then you're gonna strain here and you're gonna over push use over compression you're gonna end up straining here it's gonna be painful believe me been there done it now we don't want to do that and some uh, some former singers like me need to use different kind of technique to balance 
that amount of tension because I would get exhausted singing one song. Uh, I just could not sing a song through without not being exhausted because I was overly over pushing, overly pressing the tummy and this is exactly what we don't want to do. We want to have a moderate amount of tension going on. Um, sometimes I forget that I speak to a student and my student might doesn't know about it means or a uh, chest voice register or you have to explain it up front and, and use this regularly and always ask your students so what does uh, chest voice mean so he can tell it back to you. Don't forget to watch now this other amazing videos. We have singing hacks, singing reactions, singing analysis here and singing tips that are helpful and let me know in the comment section what you would like to see next and I see you in my next video.